Good morning, friends. Good people of the YouTube world. Um, yeah, I'll suck at life. Like, I'm just horrible at these type of things, and I've just come to the conclusion that, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore when it comes to my YouTube channel. I haven't posted. I keep saying I'll post, never post, make videos, do not edit said videos, edit some videos, don't like the quality, scrap them, never post them, forget to get thumbnails. Mm, I don't know, but I, I, I am going to do better. It is getting warm outside. My mood is getting a little better um, as far as seasonal depression goes. That is a real thing. I live in the Midwest and... It sucks in the Midwest, quite frankly, in the wintertime because it's just doom and gloom. But sun is starting to come out. It was 70 degrees on Saturday and then it dipped down to 30 degrees and it's been gloomy, but the sun is out. It's getting a little warmer. I'm about to go work out. I worked out yesterday for the first time in like a week and a half. Um, I need to get back into my routine of working out and all that other stuff because I have gains, I have goals. Summertime is right around the corner. It's like March 10th, so I need to get my life together. But anyway, I just have on a basic black. This isn't even a workout crop top. This is just a Target workout crop top that I threw on because I couldn't be bothered. Um, and then I just have on some women's best. Is this women's best? Is that what this brand is? Women's best? I think it is. It's women's best um, black plain leggings which are absolutely comfortable today is going to be an upper body day yesterday i focused on lower body um i do have a couple of things that i want to talk to you guys about later on today as far as like the whole tummy tuck recovery goes um pros cons things i've noticed things i don't like things i do like so we're going to talk about that later but first i need to get my bed made up and i need to get to this gym and get my workout in do some errands and i'll come back and talk to you guys so just hold that thought for just a second i'll be right back all right y'all so i am back from the gym i know this is like a new setting all that other stuff um i'm actually sitting on the couch in my brand new photography studio aka youtube filming studio it is in the basement of my townhouse actually i really do like it down here for a few reasons number one because it's easier to control the light down here because i have like a small window right here and then a small window over there so i don't get that much natural lighting here and i don't have to worry about the sun going in and out of my videos so that's great but you guys i went to the gym it probably seems like to you that I just went like literally a second ago, but I actually went to the gym a while ago. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I ran some errands. I went to Nordstrom's. I went to Ulta Beauty. All in all, I spent too much money that I did not plan on spending today, but it's okay. Anywho, um, basically, I wanted to come on here and just give you guys like a quick update on the whole tummy tuck situation. I am almost, well, I am. I'm four and a half months post-op. Today is Thursday and Monday will put me at 23 weeks post-op. So I'm quite a bit away from the whole initial surgery date. I had surgery on October 18th for any of you who are new here of 2021. And I have been recovering. I started documenting like a lot of it at the beginning. But after about six weeks to two months, six, eight weeks, it kind of fell off. And I haven't been back on here since. So I wanted to jump on here and just give you guys an update. Um, I'm back to doing everything that i was doing prior to having surgery i'm working out um i'm trying to like eat cleaner i'm doing an okay job at it but sweets are still my nemesis like sweets are hard to kick i know like sweets are addictive but that is the truth they're very hard to kick so i'm doing okay um i like i said i am working out back in the gym i'm doing all full workouts no restriction i've been doing like crunches and ab exercises since like 10 weeks post-op or something like that so that's all good there are a couple of things that i did want to talk about um in this update and these are just from my own personal experiences that i haven't really seen anyone else talk about so the first thing that i want to talk about is the swelling um the swelling is real we all know swelling is a part of the tummy tuck process you can swell anywhere from six months to a year 
Um, my swelling for the most part has went down. I still get some swelling, but it has also been determined by myself and my plastic surgeon that the swelling that I do experience in my upper abdomen is exasperated by the fact that I still have a lot of fat in my upper abdomen, subcutaneous fat, not visceral fat, but more subcutaneous fat in my upper abdomen. And in a minute, I'll show you guys how we determined that it's actually subcutaneous fat that can be lipoed out instead of just like visceral fat, that fat that you have to like work out through diet and exercise. So um, I'll show you guys that in a minute. So that is one of the things, like I still have a lot of subcutaneous fat. And in the Facebook group that I'm a part of for plastic surgery, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So if you wanna join, um, you can join that as well. I've discovered that Unlike some people, I didn't have a lot of wrinkly skin. Like my skin wasn't really wrinkled per se, like wrinkled and like hanging down like an apron. My skin was more so wrinkled, stretched out, and it was a lot of fat up under it. So on top of me having loose skin, I had a lot of fat. And so when you get a surgery like a tummy tuck or abdominal plasty you are literally like cutting out the section of your stomach from right above your belly button and below your belly button if you're like me and you have a lot of fat in your upper abdomen if you don't get liposuction to that area the fat's gonna still be there and that's what it is in my case i did get lipo to the flanks but i did not get lipo to the upper abdomen in my mind, I don't know why I thought that that fat would go away too and I would be completely flat like from under the boob all the way down because it did not. And I didn't find out till after surgery that um, that is something that is common that can happen. Now, some surgeons do uh, lipo the upper abdomen when they do the tummy tuck. I think I mentioned before, my surgeon does not do that because of the risk of necrosis to the incision line. And that's basically where your skin around the incision line loses blood supply and it dies and then your incision can open back up so that wasn't an option for me for my doctor to even offer me so i didn't know anything about it and i'm fine with that so at my last post-op visit in january when i went to see her we did talk about the possibility of doing liposuction 360 lipo we didn't really get into too many details of it because she said that she would prefer to wait until at least four months out to discuss those options to give your body more time to heal so i go see her again on march 25th and by that time i will be five months post-op from surgery so we can go ahead and discuss those options now in my mind and i already told my surgeon i am definitely getting lipo not only to my upper abdomen but i'm also going to get it to my back as well because i have that annoying under the bra back fat and once again because of the risk of necrosis that is not something that we did now the back fat was a lot worse i will insert a picture right here of what i looked like before so the back fat was a lot worse than what it is now um but with the surgery and with the lipo of the flanks and with the pulling down of the skin because i had an extended tummy tuck it did stretch that a little bit um if i would have had a full 360 circumference uh body lift or i think that's what they call it body lift um then it would have pulled down that extra skin or whatever that fat in the back but i didn't have that done didn't want it done so i will be going back in may to get lipo of a certain areas also um another thing i remember in one of my earlier videos i mentioned that my girl my lady friend down there it looked like she was a baby hamster so it's not as swollen anymore but i did notice that over all these years, I never noticed how much fat my body actually stores in my midsection. And that area is still like poofy. And I guess before I didn't notice it because I had the whole fupa and everything like that. I didn't notice like how how much fat was in that area as well. But now that my belly is relatively flat, like it just sticks out. It's just very prominent. It's very hello. Here I am. How you doing today? And I don't like that. So um, I will be getting some lipo done to that area, my upper abdomen, and my back as well. So as far as scar treatment goes, I am actually using this Ambi skincare fade cream. Um, this is what it looks like. Can you guys see that? I'll um Put it on the screen right here and leave a link in the description box below i literally found this at the cvs up the street from my house 
the girl, one of the girls in my Facebook group that I'm a part of, she's African American, like myself. She's like a little lighter than me, but she's been using this since her surgery, like her, her incision fully healed. And y'all, when I tell you, you can barely see her scar. And this is traditionally for black spots and stuff on your face. But if you read the reviews, this has some very good reviews. So I'm going to use this from now throughout the summer. And it does have SPF in it to see if I can lighten up my scar a little bit. Because once again, you guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute. I'm not a fan of my scar. Uh, truth be told, I am not a fan of the, my scar placement. Even though it does fit the natural curves of my body, I still do not like my scar placement. And I'm not a fan of how dark it is. But I know it's a part of the healing process. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I guess I can go ahead and show you guys what I look like because there's not really much to update you guys on besides um, those little updates I told you about the things that I'm not happy with in my body. Oh, let me also mention as well that I only got one lymphatic massage after surgery and I think that was like maybe... It was like maybe a week or so after surgery. I got one lymphatic massage. I didn't get any more massages. Um, I personally think the whole massage thing after your tummy tuck is a little overrated. It's just another reason for you to spend more money because those things are expensive. And for me, I got that one lymphatic massage and he had basically told me how I can self-massage at home and that's what I was doing. Um, and then like to move the fluids and stuff from a tummy tuck, go back and watch my old videos. I will leave the playlist right here. Um, so you can see some of the things I was dealing with in the beginning because of the lipo. But, um, I do know when I get lipo again, I will not be getting those massages. I still own all of the tools that I was using and that's what I'll be using once I get lipo again for you guys. And I do promise to document that process as well. It's just that... It's been crazy town over here and I know I suck. I left you guys hanging and I apologize. But let me show you guys what I look like. All right, let me take the jacket off first. So basically this is what I look like. I have my gym clothes on. This is what I look like from the side and everything like that with my gym clothes on. I'm gonna tuck this under a little bit. As you can see, I look pretty darn good. I, I do like the contour and stuff from the front, but let me turn to the side real quick. When I turn to the side, and don't mind this, it's because of the way my pants are sitting, like it's pushing everything up, but when I turn to the side like this, it's this bump right here, and that is, be, let me not suck my stomach in, but like this whole area like right here is not flat, and it is literally fat and the way we determined that is because if you go like this and you can grab the fat under your skin like I can feel how tight my muscles is but you can literally grab the fat under my skin and this is what I need to go away so that is what I'm getting removed and then you can still if I pull up let me say something here if I pull up my pants and go like this you can see the rolls on my back right here and the fact that I have a lot of back fat like look at this can y'all see me pinching? Yeah, so I'm going to get that taken care of. It's weird that you guys can't see my face. And then my incision. So my incision in the front is a nice and a low there. And it's fine. But as you come across, the way she cut me, she came up on all the way over here to the side. It does match my contour of my body. It's just that it is a little high. I would prefer for it to be like stop here. But she didn't. She came up here. And that's kind of my fault too. But you see how dark my scar is. I wanted to lighten up and fade. Because since it does sit a little higher than I like. Um, it like you can see it with some clothes on. So let me show you. So right now with the type, with the type of underwear that I have been wearing. It does a very good job. Like you cannot see the scar at all. However I do not wear thong bikinis. And that is a problem because most bikinis that aren't thong bikinis do not fit on me like this to cover up the scar. Like they fit and they sit down here and expose the scar. So I've been stuck getting bikinis that are high cut on the hip and you know high cut on the waist. All in all if I could give you any piece of advice which a lot of people have given this advice and I have no idea why me personally i did not do this and that is find the swimming suit cut that you would like the bikini cut bottoms that you would like take them with you on the day of surgery and 
when your doctor goes to mark you up before surgery, those marks should all be up under where your bikini sits out on your body so that you can know that if you like that particular style of bikini, then you won't have any problem finding bikini bottoms um, that conceal your scar. So for me, I do like the high, like it's like the high cut hip. So like basically, and you have your bum out and it's a little cheeky and it comes up high on your hip, but then it comes up higher on your waist, like sits a little bit above your belly button or below your belly button. I do like those and I just feel like if my scar was just maybe an inch, inch and a half, well not even an inch and a half, maybe a half an inch to an inch lower, then I can have the best of both worlds with the high cut bikinis and the lower cut bikinis too. But as of right now, I don't have that. But I do feel like if my scar fades, like like is more camouflage into my skin, not completely go away because it's not. But if it get it to fade more towards my skin color, which like I said, I'm only four and a half months, it could possibly do that on their own. Um, then you know I'll feel a little bit more comfortable wearing those lower cut bikinis that you can see my scar, but not really unless you're paying attention. So that is it for this video, you guys. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. I do plan on filming a lot more now that I have my studio done. I have a dedicated place to film. My kids are not allowed down here. So the only mess that's down here is mine. Um, and it is quite messy from the sessions that I had over the weekend. I have still not to clean up. So I do want to do a studio tour for you. I'm not sure if that's going to be the next video or not. But that is coming. So definitely be watching out for that. Make sure you subscribe for that. And it is, what time is it? Because my battery is about to die on my watch. It is 3 o'clock. I'm about to get ready to go pick up these Rugrats. And then I'm going to come home, braid TJ's hair, and edit this video to get it out to you guys. And I think I still need to figure out what a thumbnail I'm going to do because I suck at those. <laughs>